On the clock, most of us, if not all of us, know who Napoleon is, but what about Michael Ney, one of Napoleon's most famous generals? And while you might be thinking to yourself, what does French history have to do with our area? Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out Ney may have decided to make Rowan County his home after Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo, but proving that isn't an easy task. Our David Wisdom is live at five from where crews dug up the remains, trying to determine once and for all if this is Michael Ney. So David, what a fascinating story. What happened? Well, it's a work in progress, Molly. You can see if you look behind me, you see all that dirt. That's what they've taken out so far, and they've been doing this since 10 o'clock this morning. They've gone down about a foot and a half. They haven't found anything yet. So the question is, are they looking for the remains of the school teacher, Peter Stewart Ney, or the school teacher and the French military genius, Marshal Michael Ney? Either way, folks are going to be glad to have this question settled. Third Creek Presbyterian Church was founded in 1751, and yet one of the most fascinating things to happen in church history is going on right now. If we were to discover that the Ney here is the same Ney that is Marshal Ney in France, we will, in a sense, demystify one of the great stories of world history. The story is that one of the most brilliant military leaders in Napoleonic France managed to escape execution by firing squad, leave France, and end up in North Carolina. He landed in Moxville, a stranger with a French accent. Peter Stewart Ney taught in this schoolhouse in the Cleveland area and made an impression on the community. He also said at least once that he was Napoleon's Marshal Ney. When he got the newspaper that Napoleon was dead. He, he broke down in, in the classroom in front of his students. Now a French television crew wants to finally settle the question. Today they work to exhume the remains that are buried in a brick mausoleum and if possible do a DNA test. I personally believe the two men are the same. Dr. Gary Fries is a local historian who has followed this story for more than 20 years. The data is controversial. The evidence is contradictory, and you simply, under our current circumstances, can't know which they are. I don't know who's down there. Local church members like Steve Lloyd have volunteered to help. And I'm still curious to see if it, they truly do answer the question. Whether this is yeah. the grave of a legendary military leader, a teacher who made an impact on his students, or both, is what these researchers hope to discover. He knew so much. He taught the boys. He talked about the Napoleonic Wars as if he had been there. So either was a very, very good pretender, but we prefer to think maybe the real thing. Yeah, maybe so. That is the question they're trying to answer. And you can see these researchers right here. They are inside that mausoleum right now. They continue to bring out dirt. They're not using a shovel anymore. They're using a trowel because they're trying to be very delicate. So it's going to be very interesting what they find, if anything. Reporting live in Rowan County, David Wisnett, WBTV, on your side. So, David, Jamie and I are sitting here talking, watching your whole story right there. <laughs> We've got a question. I don't know if you know the answer to it, but how will they be able to determine this many years later if it is him? What they have told us is that they will, if they can find enough remains, they may be able to do some sort of a DNA test that may give them confirmation that this was, in fact, Marshal Michael Ney. Um, still a lot to be seen. Now, mm -hmm. again, keep in mind they're doing this for a French television show, and they may want to hold the results until they have the ah. show ready. So about the most we'll be able to find out is if they did recover anything that they could possibly use. Yeah, maybe David Wisnett will break the news before all of France gets to hear the documentary. He's all over. <laughs> I want to know the answer like we all do, right? It's fascinating I do too. stuff. Yep.